Um, so I'm joined today by Deborah Goodwin. Hi Debs, thank you for joining me. Hi Holly, nice to see you again. Debs is the Chief Customer Officer at SES Water and we've had the pleasure of working together um, on both sides of the fence, haven't we? Um, we have. So Debs, I, I wanted to get together with you today to to just get a little bit of a flavour of your experiences of working with me and, and with Douglas Jackson on a whole. Um, so I suppose what what were your initial thoughts about working with us and did you have any preconceptions or reservations? Um, so I had heard of, um, not Holly Jackson, Douglas Jackson, <laughs> maybe we'll start that again. I had heard of Douglas Jackson before and I had had some dealings, I can't remember exactly who with, but I didn't really have any preconceived notion of what it was going to feel like at all, um, neither sort of positively nor negatively at all. I had just heard of them sort of within the industry. Um, and then obviously when we started working together, I guess we started working together as a candidate, myself being a candidate and looking for a role, which I just found the easiest process known to man to work with you, you on. So yeah, it was really easy. I think you were just really genuine, honest, human, um, open, transparent, but whilst retaining a complete sense of professionalism. So it never felt like a transaction, I don't think. So I think from the word go, obviously, you know, you took time to build a bit of a rapport, but I think from the word go, for me, it didn't feel like I was a number that you were ticking off and going through your big long list of people and yeah. um, of candidates that you could potentially speak to. I definitely felt right from the start, it was going to be a future relationship and you were sort of really putting in the hours to get to know someone and also to make sure that actually the opportunity was potentially right for that individual as well as for the business. So it it definitely felt like you were definitely, you know, you know that middle person between you, you sort of knew that you were working on behalf of both sides, I think, which to yeah. me made it feel much more of a partnership, a future relationship, someone I'd come back to to work with from a client side perspective rather than, yeah, a transaction. And I think that's important, though, isn't it? Because ultimately, around you saying it being sort of the two way street, I think if you weren't happy going into a role, how how yeah. is that going to be sustainable? You're not you're not going to want to be there for a long time if exactly. and I just don't believe in the, the square peg and round hole scenario. I think it's got to be yeah. right for both sides. And I think quite often we miss a trick because we think the client is the sort of be all and end all but actually it's yeah. really important from your perspective and that relays back to the client in my opinion as well um because ultimately they want people that want to stay don't they yeah I agree I didn't feel your tactic was right I'm gonna talk to a massive long list of people I'm gonna talk to them super quickly quickly get rid of loads of them and get a couple and then quickly make my money as a client it just did not ever feel like that at all and in fact I remember saying this to someone at the time I sort of felt like you were cheerleading me on from the sidelines <laughs> now that could be right wrong or indifferent and, and don't admit it or deny it but um it just felt like you had my back as well as of the obvious client if you like um so yeah just it, I think it it made it feel quite different and then I think because of that you got more honesty out of me yeah. you like which I then think in turn is good for the client so I think yeah, and I think I felt comfortable. I didn't feel like you were trying to set me up for a fall, or because I, I think as well, some you know we've all been spoken to from recruiters in the past, and it feels like you are literally being asked to jump through hoops of fire, and almost they want you to tell them why you're not right for it rather than why you are, and it just doesn't feel adult to adult, to be honest. So that felt quite different. Thank you. So I suppose. You can look at this from from either side, Debs. But what what have been the benefits in working together? Do you think? Um, so I have loved ending up being a sort of successful client, um, successful candidate, but then instantaneously working with you in reverse, which yeah. is is uh, you know if you were trying to be something you're not, that could be quite a hard situation <laughs> to navigate. But actually, you know, for you and for me, if you like, but actually it feels really natural because it felt for me like 
oh, thank God, right, I can just come to you, you know the company, you know the brand, you obviously know the values, you know the type of people that fit or don't fit in this organisation, you've worked with a lot of others. And I think normally my style would be, oh, I know other recruiters who do a good job and I can go to my own network, if you like, for recruiting. Yeah. But it just felt like it was easier to do it this way, but, but not the lazy, easy choice, just um, the better choice for the brands because our relationship had already been established. Your relationship elsewhere had been established in the company. But actually, the role that I was particularly talking to you about recruiting, I mean, we turned it on a dime, didn't we? It was very different to the role that you had been trying to recruit for. And there was never a moment where I felt you were defensive or that you were in that camp of, you know, the job needs to be blue and therefore it's got to be a blue person who comes in and then we turned it pink. You were just really um, challenging, but in, a, in the right way, but also very adaptable, flexible, amenable to that change being the right thing for the business and you know a different suite of people if you like so I think we ended up doing the recruitment better and faster than we ever would have done and I think again to use the same words in a more natural way than it being this you know sort of weird muppetry of client supplier relationship which no one needs to have. No and I don't know if you feel the same way but I think the authentic relationship that we had built enabled us to have a really frank conversation about what the needs were versus what the ideology was and I think we were able I was able to be really honest with you about current trends in the market what was available and I think that really helped with it was almost as if the barriers were already broken down in my opinion before we even put a green light on to to get go I think that's right. I think it's trust. It was almost yeah. that trust. So I trusted what you were telling me was correct. And I think you trusted us sort of knew what was intuitively correct. So, so I think, yeah, I just don't think we had to dance around it all, quite frankly. No. So I think Which, that worked. Uh, yeah, very refreshing way to work. And I appreciate um, the way that you were working with, with me too. Um, so I suppose, would you would you recommend us to other companies? Yeah, I definitely would. And actually, in a really short time of getting to know each other, I think I've sort of referred three people to you, if you like. (laughs) And obviously, I won't say who, but in quite different guises. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure I've really done that that often. So I really believe in quid pro quo. So I really believe if someone does something good in every way for you, whether it's recruiting the right candidate or whatever, I think you should pay it back. back. I don't know, it's a Scottish guilt or something. But you know, when friends in different areas have been asking who are the good recruiters, who do you think I should like have my eye on to be speaking to, whose list should I be on, etc. I think in both the commercial and the technological side, which is not as much my bag, I've recommended you, which I don't just do lightly, I would say. So I think that's proof that I would recommend you. Um, And then also, I mean, we were laughing the other day, weren't we? But um, um the the women that I used to work with in about a million trillion years ago but she's now got her own business as leadership development um business that is just not my approach to forward on something that could be like a salesy opportunity like yeah. I'm just not interested in that whatsoever actually but because I massively believe in her and what she's doing and I believe in you and actually I remember you always talking about women on boards and you telling me about expanding your network. And I know you're massively into the sort of female empowerment yeah. side as well. And so I guess that because you'd shared quite a lot of what you were interested in, that naturally made me think of you um, to sort of promote her services as well towards you. And, and as I say, that's not really like me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, would I recommend, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, as a candidate, for someone to have an enduring relationship with to get the right next role for you as an individual without all the nonsense definitely as a client I think because I think you're really thorough really diligent I think you're really honest I think the preparatory notes that you prepare for us before and the pre-screening I think is great it's all worth its weight in gold I think it's just sort of served up to us on a plate to then interview and find the right fit for us so I think all of that was really great so I would definitely recommend and then I would say don't forget karma comes around so you know if there's 
your mates or whoever or people that you really 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 value in life that are recruiting are, are needing to be to look for a position as well then why wouldn't I recommend it just yeah I definitely wouldn't be recommending to a salesy type recruitment organization but I would recommend to people that are trusted I really appreciate that Deb thank you is there anything else that you would like to add <laughs> you've been super kind already so <laughs> what can I add um, I just think I think um that I would say the thing that marked you out quite differently when I was a candidate was I felt you not in a patronizing way or a you know tell me what the answer was way but I felt that you really thoroughly prepared me sort of before interview okay. But you cared during this during the interview, if you like, and then post. And even once I'd been onboarded into the new role, you were calling to, you know, have catch ups. And I just think that whole life cycle management of someone joining an organization um was unlike what I've seen before, which was really and I'll be Yeah, and I'll be really honest. Equally, um, I know that you brought me into some of the comms when you onboarded somebody into your team and equally yeah. I've got to say that you did a, a stellar job at that too so thank you dream team <laughs> yeah the team though that's the point isn't it yeah. so we've just launched a new strategy and underpinning the strategy is high ha, um, happy high performing people and partners so that's our overt strategy because just because we pay for someone's services doesn't mean they shouldn't actually feel like they're on our side, part of the team. You know, I don't, I don't, and we've done it with South Africa as well, as you know, but I don't believe we can just say we're paying for a service, therefore they should be better at it. I think yeah. you can only deliver the great service because you feel like you're part of the solution or part of the challenge that we've got. So, yeah, that was really important to me. Why wouldn't I say thanks for basically ending up with a super team so yeah it was very well meant definitely and I think equally when when you talked about um onboarding this individual and you gave some background and context prior to them joining to the wider team I think I think there are a lot of businesses that miss the trick on making that person feel welcome on day one and even giving people a couple of people within the team a couple of things to discuss with them about their perhaps sort of quirky um hobbies and interests as well because it makes a big difference doesn't it yeah it just humanizes everyone doesn't it new people you always look at slightly across the table like distrusting don't you but there's just <laughs> no need if you know a little bit more about them definitely but I really really appreciate you taking the time to to thank share you. some feedback so thank you very much for all of your lovely comments no worries very deserved thank you